Welcome to the Guide Dog Foundation Lecture Series. This section discusses the role of the handler. The way you interact with people and other dogs sends an important message about your role as the handler. As the leader of the pack that includes you and your dog, you are responsible to meet and greet newcomers and investigate situations that may give cause for suspicion or fear. Your dog should not show excessive interest or suspicion of other people and animals. By following specific procedures for encountering people, animals, or suspicious situations, you will maintain your proper role as pack leader. When greeting people you know, always put your dog at a sit-stay before engaging in conversation. If you want to allow someone to pet your dog, make your dog sit and stay. Then explain to the other person that they must immediately stop petting your dog if it stands or gets excited. While the other person is petting the dog, the handler should be giving quality, calming petting. Do not hesitate to assert yourself if the person petting your dog is too enticing or ignores your request for them to stop petting the dog. You can practice meeting and greeting other dogs by approaching another handler and dog from the opposite direction. Approach to within several feet of each other and have your dogs sit. If either dog is unruly at a greater distance, have both dogs do abouts and reapproach until both dogs are under reasonable control. The handler should shake hands and greet each other. Then one handler will remind his or her dog to sit stay while approaching the other dog for a quick pet. The handler of the dog receiving the petting should give calm petting to his or her dog while the other handler is petting it. Calming petting involves slowly rubbing your dog on the chest with the flat of your right hand in a small circular motion without lifting the hand from the dog between strokes. Upon returning to the dog that was in a stay, give it praise and petting. Once both dogs have been greeted, proceed past each other, encouraging the dogs to look ahead and nod at each other. You can use your position as the leader of the pack to calm a dog who is suspicious of a person or object. If your dog is afraid of an object, allow the dog freedom to move away from it. Confining a dog near something it is afraid of will only intensify the fear. Walk away from the object until the dog does not seem to be actively fearful. Reapproach until you are within reach of the object. Put the dog in a sit-stay and walk up to it and touch it and investigate it. Then return to the dog giving it praise for staying. Once you have successfully walked past the object, you may encourage your dog to approach the object from another direction for a sniff, but do not pull the dog towards it with your leash. Walk past the object from different directions until the dog ignores the object. By assuming your responsibilities as pack leader, you relieve the dog of the obligation of determining who should be greeted and who should be avoided. Your dog will be happier and better behaved. For questions or to learn more about the Guide Dog Foundation, visit us at guidedog.org.